Well, surprise, surprise, ladies and gentlemen, the creators of X-Men 97 are defending the decision to make the show woke. You see the article here, X-Men, the animated series creators defend decision to make morph non-binary. In X-Men 97, the word non-binary is the same as the word shapeshifter. That's their excuse, I guess we could say. Uh, do we believe that? I don't know about that. Uh, article says, according to the creators of both X-Men, the animated series, and the character himself, the decision to portray team member Morph as a non-binary individual in the upcoming X-Men 97 sequel series is not the radical change critics claim it is, but rather a logical conclusion based on the character's shape-shifting powers. Um, <laughs> this, re uh, this read of Morph's character was offered by X-Men the Animated Series creator Eric Luwald, his wife and writer Julia Luwald, and director Larry Houston, all three of whom returned to provide their creative input to the reboot. During a recent interview given to Variety in promotion of X-Men 97's rapidly approaching release date, pressed for their thoughts on the backlash to the changing of Morph's character. In particular, the fact that many critics felt that this move was done for nothing more than social media brownie points. The trio unanimously pushed back on the grounds that the mutant's new gender identity was already inherent in his power set. For me, the word non-binary is the same as the word shapeshifter, argued Houston. Every character that can change from one gender to another uh, or from human to animal, that's just another word for shapeshifter for me. So I'm going to have to push back here and say dead wrong. They're 100% pandering to these far left ideologues who are proponents of having trans characters and things like that. It's too easy for them to say, oh, no, it's, this is an inherent power of his. He's a shapeshifter. That is ridiculous. You know, just because Morph can can change his appearance, his physical appearance based on his ability, his mutant power, that is, that doesn't mean that Morph himself originally changed sexes. He doesn't. His original form is his original form. He can change to look like something else and be that uh, for a time. But his, origi his original form will always be his original form. So uh, this argument right here is ridiculous and we can't let Hollywood, we can't let entertainment uh, and especially Marvel and Disney uh, say things like this and justify what they want to do here. We did not see anything like this back in the X-Men animated series original run. Things like this did not exist. But they're going to bring in modern day woke politics to please their minority. That's what they're going to do. And as a result, it continues to happen. Disney, Marvel, entertainment on the whole will continue to face the repercussions of doing it. Uh, they're, they're literally burning famous IPs down to the ground, to ashes. They've done it with Star Wars with just plain bad writing. Now they've done it with X-Men 97. Everything that they bring off the shelf and dust off, they destroy. So until they start getting things right and actually create uh, entertainment that honors, it's up to standard, it's up to par, uh, as it was back in the day, decades ago, as, as its predecessor. Um, until they can do that, uh, I have no faith moving forward in anything that they choose to do. Let me know in the comments what you think about this, guys. The culture war continues. See you on the next one.